Hey guys, Cyber Dragon here. Bring you guys a new series, What If Deku Was Star Lord? So I've only seen like one other person do something similar to this, and it is What If Deku Was the Son of Star Lord? Uh, but yeah, and uh, this one will be interesting, to be honest to me. So yeah. I will be combining some stuff of Guardians, but like not like the team. I will most likely make my own small team for the this series, kind of like the Guardians, but not really. Not adding people with the same quirks or like why not? Just making a team out of the one A students. I think that would be pretty fun to do. And uh, yeah. Also, I have no idea who the ship should be. I have two people in mind. And I want you guys to choose one of the two. Well, okay, maybe three people. Umaraka, Mina, or Jiro. Reasons why, space, and music. Those are the only reasons why I say those, like, three. So you can... I'm not going to make it a harem, because one... I'm just not, like... For this series alone, I'm just doing one girl. Maybe down the line I'll do a harem for a certain character. But otherwise, I'm not going to do it for, like, these this series. And, uh, yeah. So. But, I also have some other series I'm currently working on down the line. These ones will also need some help with shipping as well. But at that will get well, actually one of them will need help with shipping. The other one I already have the ship in mind, but I will do those later in the my YouTube career life. So But without further ado, let's get on with the what if. Izuku Midoriya was born in the usual time like day of when he was born like I know it's like June 15th something whatever year Izuku's father is not there though because he's in outer space yeah I'm basing most some of this off the actual movies themselves but not all of them part of them so yeah either way Deku, over the next four years, has actually been living with Inko, has been talking about life. Inko showing her son her favorite types of music and whatnot. Which is the same music the Star Lord listens to in the. you know, in the Guardians movie. And Izuku's whole name is Izuku Jason Midoriya. Reason why the Jason part It is because that is Star Lord's middle name in the series Jason And that's like the only other connection I'm gonna add for the series for him There will be some other minor details about his uh, Like his and Star Lord's connection, but for the most part that's like him Such so he is actually liking the music his mother is showing him. She told him that this stuff came from the pre quark era and whatnot. And yeah. But at the age of four, when Izuku would be like diagnosed, like we're gonna go to a quark doctor and whatnot, instead, Inko was diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. Pretty uh, heavy stuff already. Which condolences to anyone's life who, like, anyone in their life has met someone or a family member they know who has or had or cancer. Who's suffering from cancer, died from cancer, or a friend or family who member who know someone like that. My condolences. And so, yeah. Such Izuku cannot stand seeing his mother like this. 
but at the same time, he kind of had to stay there for her final moments. That's a promise he made to himself. Like, I want to stay here to be... That I have to be brave enough to go through this. If I want to be a hero, then I have to, you know, do this. Which, yeah, it is still Izuku. He wants to still be a hero. Yeah. And Inko died that after that. Wow. After spending her final moments with her baby boy. Izuku crying... Runs out to the park that was across the street. She was sitting on the bench. In the middle of night, really. The doctors... Try to keep him there. To, you know, for child luck to be sent to him, uh, the orphanage. Because no living relative that we know of other than Inko is on Earth. We don't know if... Is you had any grandparents or not like that? So, yeah. But otherwise, so yeah. While well, Izuku is crying, listening to some uh, music to calm him down, he notices a light, like a a light appears above him. He gets sucked up to the ship. That's that. That's that. After Deku wakes up, because he did faint from, like, after being teleported up. Well, not teleported, but dragged up there, I guess. He notices some weird-looking people. He thinks it's quirk people, but after realizing what just happened, he realizes he was abducted by aliens. Not by people with quirks. He steps back. Some of the people are like, he's kind of scrawny, isn't he? Whatever, it's a paid job. So put him in the cell and let's just get out of here. So, yeah, all right. As he was about to reach for him, Deku, out of instinct, pulled out the blasters you see right here. And these blasters have more or less elemental Abilities, because I know in the show and comics, he that it does show elements like fire, lightning, earth, not earth, but an ice beam and uh, tornadoes. They sit back like, wait, he has a gun. So some of them try to hold up, but out of instinct, Deku shot, starts shooting, shooting some fire. At first, then switching out to ice. He's not sure what's going on, but he's just going with it. So now, tr- he's not, he's amateur at this, though. He's mostly shooting fire, but after a while, he notices, like, he can change the setting for it, so he changes it to ice, freezing some of them. Eventually, Yondu does intervene. Yes, Yondu will be part of this, too. I'm not gonna add the crew members of the Guardians of the Galaxy, but, you know, some people will be part of this, like Yondu and Ego. Not sure who else, though. If you guys can think of anyone else, let me know. But otherwise, he says, you're pretty amateur, kid. You only took out a couple of us, but you you didn't cheat properly. You shot too wildly. Let me teach you how to use that thing for real. Deku agrees, and for the next nine years of his life, he's four right now, so he'll be 13. He just, uh, actually, no way, for the next 10 years of his life. Yeah, so it will be almost like a month or two before the main stuff of canon will happen. Deku learned a lot of stuff. How to fly, how to shoot properly, how to fight without his weapons too. He's also learned how to tinker too, like with guns, his rocket boots, and mask. Because he does have Peter's stuff. 
But not only that, he's got him his own ship. And instead of the colors you see right now, it will be where the blue is will be black, and where the yellow is, it will be green. So it's looking like his hair. And his coat, with deck, which uh, Star Lord is wearing, will also be like a dark green. Kind of like the shade of green that. Like the shade of red you see right there will be like the same shade of green, like a dark. Like the same tone, I guess? Yeah. Such. It will just look like a Zuku, but with that coat on. He decides, you know what, I want to head back to Earth. See what the that world is like now, since I've already left ten years ago. He has come to terms that that is a place where his mother died, but he wants to pay his respects, too. And such. After that... Like... He did tell Yondu, like, his backstory and whatnot. Like how his mother died of cancer. He never really known his own father. Yondu has actually come close to Izuku. Realizing he's also quite smart. He thought he could use this. But he doesn't want his life for Izuku. He's actually going to be like kind of a good Yondu. But at the same time. He will still make those types of jokes and such. He will have his good moments with Izuku and his bad. Izuku has come to terms with like. He is like. A father to me. Kind of a dickish father, but still a father. Such. He has some. So, that has some damage to his ship beforehand. As he's entering Earth's atmosphere, the ship starts to. say, warning, warning. The damage detected on ship. Oh, no, no. Why now? Why now? He's trying to get under control. He realizing, okay, where should I land? Where should I land? He sees the buildings of UA. I will say, this is not, like, when the school is right now, like, busy. It is currently, like, a day when there's no students there. So whenever that day would be. People are seeing, like, what is that? Is that a meteor or something? And it's heading towards UA, obviously. Nezu's seeing this. All the teachers are seeing this. So, noticing it's not a meteor, it's a spaceship. And it's trying to get under control, too. Which Deku is managing to keep it under control. Coming in a bit hot, but yeah. As such, he lands it. Not smoothly. There's some... Uh... I think it's damage to the grounds, like, not to the major buildings or anything, but, like, the actual, like, sidewalk of it and whatnot. He's like, ugh. Well, I made it. And the ship seems to be in stable conditions. Something falls behind him. Like, some pipes and whatnot. I'm not sure, like... Well, I'm gonna have to fix that later. He's noticing, like, looking outside, like, seeing teachers coming out front and Nezu as well. He's like, oh boy, this is gonna be tough. He starts to come out of the spaceship. The teachers are wondering, like, what is this? And is it someone inside? Seeing the door opening, someone walking out. They prepare for a fight. But Deku's arms are up and like, whoa, whoa, wait, I'm not here for a fight. I'm not here for a fight. I just came here to visit, uh, come back. Like, All right, who are you then? And why do you look human? Or like, wait, he's human? Sorry. Like, yeah. Like, he... Ah, sir, so you're human. Uh, yes, I am. How do you know, uh, what is your name, young man? Oh, my name is, uh, Zuku Jason Midoriya. But some, most people just call me Deku, which, yeah, but I prefer another name. 
Så. And, uh... Nezu is like, wait, is Zuku Midoriya? So, aren't you the kid who went missing like 10 years ago? Yes, I am. My parent, like, I was abducted. Eyes widen here in that fact. Like, well, abducted? Do you mean villains kidnapped you? No. Aliens. Extraterrestrial aliens. Even more shocked? Like, a- aliens are real? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, this is also where kind of quirks came from, too. Some quirks. So I've learned that over my travels, and uh, I decided to come back home after 10 years and pay my respects to my mother and try to complete my dream that to become a hero. Well then, young man. So, obviously you can't be going out looking like that. We and we don't know any living relatives of yours, so why not stay at UA and you can stay in that ship of yours. I would appreciate that, uh, Nezu, Principal Nezu. Okay, Principal Nezu. Uh, do you have a place where I can at least park this at so it can stay hidden? Oh yes, you can use one of our uh, many facilities. Ones that we don't really use often. As they do bring the ship to there. So. Th- they take a look inside. Deku telling them not to touch anything. He only, he only brings really Nezu and Aizawa in. Not really trusting much other people right now. He's being smart. They talk inside, telling, like, asking Deku questions like, how have you survived in outer space, or, like, that type of, or, uh, what weird, like, things have you been doing up there? He says all of his adventures he's been doing up there, like, well, I work with a group called the Scavengers, we are basically thieves, but I never wanted to do that. They decided to keep me for some weird reason, and said, uh, let's see. Um, I've been le- taught to fix, steal, fight, shoot, you name it, pretty much like that. Listing all his skills. I was, I was somewhat impressed, like, this kid has been up there for 10 years learning how to do all of that. So he could make a pretty good hero, actually. Nezu is like, well then, you're quite intelligent, aren't you? So, are you planning on um, joining UA? Well, yeah, I'm planning on doing that. Uh, so. Okay, I'm going to check that out later. But yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, um, uh, is there a place I can, uh, uh, something I can eat at least? I have not that really good stuff to eat. Because most of his food, he's gone through his rations because he underestimated how long it would actually be to get to Earth. So, yeah. Over the next, like, few months, uh, the same when the time of canon happens, I guess, yeah. He's actually gotten used to Earth. Repaired his ship up by parts from Power Loader he landed. Power and uh, learning some new techni- uh, stuff to do for his equipment and such. And uh, UA was questioned, like, what was that? And is there anything wrong? Or what it was that thing? They simply say it was just a crashed satellite that burned up. Explaining the they even brought out a satellite that was, you know, like that. Deku had one lying around, just as a memento, I guess. Let's just say that. Like, from pre-Quirk era, so... That never came down until now. As such, they accept the answer. No questions further were asked. They did tell the students this too, and not to go to this facility anymore. There will be some new stuff happening there. Oh, 
there's just new, like a storage unit now, basically. Since they never used it, it's locked. Search. Deku has been shown to come in and out of UA. Wearing his traditional jacket and whatnot. Isn't that too weird? It just looks kind of like a hero costume, but he was let to know like, not to wear it too often. But yeah. I mean, like, what are the. Like, he's been informed that the rules of what's going on. He did show his quirk, which was the blasters. He has shown he has rocket boots and the mask, too. And some good luck picking gear. And I don't think I'm going to give him one fall in this. If you guys want me to, you you put it down in the comments. But otherwise, if you guys have anyone who you want to have one fall, let me know down in the comments, too. Or if it's not Deku, then, you know. So, yeah. And, uh, Deku's just kind of been going around seeing what's been up with Earth lately, too. And, yeah, so, one day when he's just getting groceries for himself, like, UA does give him an allowance for, like, how doing some general maintenance at UA because he is handy with his hands. Like that. Such. Uh, he was about to be attacked by the sludge villain. Like, hey kid, I need your body. Like, whoa, man, uh, uh, I'm flattered and all, but I'm not, I don't swing that way, so, especially with a whatever you are. I mean, I've done pretty weird shit before, but not this weird. Like, uh, what? No, not like that, kid. So, it's gross. Like, oh, thank God. Uh. Wait, then, so. Like, who are you running away from, then? Like, I didn't know that freak was in town and shit, so give me your body now so I can get out of here. Deku... What starts to weapon up, having his helmet on, his two guns out, like bring it. The sludge villain thinks this is a pretty useful quirk. He goes after him, till All Might peers up. Have no fear, because I am here. The Troy Smash. Sorry, if my All Might impression is god awful or not, but I'm not putting my effort into it. Sorry. Such, Deku is excited to see him, but not as fanboyish as in canon. So, because it as long if you've seen some crazy shit up in space, especially for Deku, and I'm gonna say it, he has done it. If you guys know what I mean, at a pretty young age already, so. Yeah. I'm not going to describe the weird details of what he has done up in space. Just know he has done it. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, it's All Might. Like, he still has the All Might action figure with him at his ship. Just a memento of like the world, the uh, Japan's greatest, the uh, Earth's greatest hero. Space could be a different story. I'm not sure. Like, hey, all might, but not. Like, ah, young Midoriya. Because all might has been informed by the teachers of UA about him. To some heroes, to an extent. Not all, but some. Like, how have you been? Eh, pretty good. Uh, so, I was going out to get groceries until this thing tried to take my body, apparently. Like, hmm, well, that's pretty weird. Well then, I will get the sludge villain head out.
No at all, mate. Catch you later. Deku walks away with his groceries. Actually... You know, I'm gonna say he hasn't met him. He should told him his name. Like, my name is Yuka Maduro, yeah. I'm sorry if I mess up. If you guys want to keep it like that, you can. But I'm still gonna keep it like that, I guess, yeah. And there's no secondary sludge villain incident. Like, for that. He didn't jump on his leg, so there was no need for that. Although he... Is considering, like, maybe I should help All Might with his injury. You know what? No, I'm not going to say he knows about One Fall. Yeah, no, never mind. So, just forget all I'm saying. Uh. Uh. So, this is pretty difficult. Uh, but, yeah, so... Over the next ten months, he trains with Azawa and such. Learning different fighting styles... Not, like, it's not difficult to him, but since if, uh, he has been up in space and they had their own weird fighting styles, this is, like, pretty relaxed, I guess, to him. But, yeah, that's all he learns for the next ten months. And there's some upgrades to, like, his blasters, because they, even though they're his quirks, he can still modify them slightly. And he does modify his other gear, too. So it's the day of the UA a entrance exam. No tripping, no meeting Umaraka like that. And you know, I think I am actually gonna make the ship Umaraka X Teku, so maybe. I'm not sure. If you guys want, you can post down what, like, what de ship you want, but I haven't done a Deku X Umaraka one, so, like, I could do Nijure, but at the same time, I don't for this one. Yeah. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, so, the test begins, he aces it, he's not top scores, but... He, uh, gets up in the top 10 at least. Let's say he gets 6th, maybe 5th. Because, you know, you learn different stuff up in space, but compared to Earth, that can still be different. And now is a point when the robots are going to explain. Bakugo, not really knowing Deku a whole lot. Because they knew each other when they were up in space, but, like, before Deku went up in space, but they weren't, like, close yet as becoming best friends, so. There's no Kachan or Deku, this. But, both of them are having a familiar feeling. Why do I know this guy from somewhere? Kind of having that kind of thought in their brains. And after a while, uh, eat up the, the eat a thing. And Deku, not really paying too much attention about this, actually. He is just listening to his music. Some people can hear it. So, Ida does the same Ida thing, like, saying about the zero point, and then points out to Deku, like, and you, if you're not taking this seriously, then get out of here, you son, and turn down the music. Deku usually lifts up his orange headphones, like, you know, the same ones that the uh, Star Lord had, like, hmm, did, did you say something? Because I already know all of this information. And honestly, guy, if you would have shut up, you would have known that the zero pointer is an obstacle, nothing else. And, uh, yeah, so maybe you should be quiet, stop being so prideful, and know it all ish. Just 
Just listen to the damn instructor, perhaps. Putting on his he headphones back. And hurting Edith's pride to be like, uh, you can't talk to me like that. And pride my like, uh, thank you, Zuku Midoriya. Sir. And like, gotta say, man, I do love your music, so keep it up, man. Give him present like a thumbs up. And present like, well, yes, he is right too. And he actually does know all of this. He has helped UA quite a bit with maintenance repair in my station. Some people are surprised, like, really? This guy helps up out in UA by being repairing stuff? Like, he doesn't look anything too special. He is now gunning for him. Because he is pride. Deku, I mean, not Deku, Bakugo. Not really having any beef with Deku, but... You know, like, Bakugo kind of have to be like Bakugo. Thinks he's, like, beneath him. He says Bakugo's not as skilled as in canon, because Deku never pumped his mind up with, like, never challenged him, like, hero-wise, like, heroics-wise. So he's not very skilled. He's somewhat skilled, like, doing explosions in midair, but, you know, that type of shit. Yeah, so, um, so now they're at the gates of UA, Deku dressed up as he is right now, the coat, uh, what not, just I'm kind of enjoying life right now, just listening to music, he does just intently staring at him, waiting until he messes like, once he messes up, ooh, I'm on his ass. Hey, what time is it? Yeah, I could go a little longer. Yeah, so, uh... Deku's just looking around, like... And then notices Umaraka, nervous, like... Maybe I should calm it down. Put that charm on. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with the series, aren't I? Going up, Ida seeing this. Putting his arm on his shoulder, like... You were about to disturb her and distract her and whatnot, like, make her fail. Deku puts off his headphones, and I'm like, Oh, it's just you. Listen, Four Eyes, right now I'm not trying to mess up anyone, because why the hell would I? And secondly, you've been staring at me intently for a while. Don't think I noticed. I I'm flattering and all, but I'm not into men. I told this to the same guy ten months ago, so don't let yourself down. Keep yourself out there and shit. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gay. That don't don't assume that. Well, don't be staring at me like you wanting me one now. Like, I get I'm sexy as hell, but still, come on, man. <laughs> he just starts yelling at him. He's like, "Jeez, man, okay, uh, you're being too loud." So. Pulls out his gun, shuts the system on ice, blasting his feet. Like, what the, what is this? It's ice, man. Have you never seen it? It's a new thing. Walks away, like, I'll unfreeze it once the test's about to begin. He does his yelling. Everyone's seeing that. Some people are laughing at the comments, even. Oh my. Good, even seeing this, too. Seeing that he's walking out, like, Hey, uh, I noticed you were nervous, and don't be. I'm sure you'll pass. So, after all, you want to be a hero, so I'm assuming you did some type of training beforehand. Y yeah, I have, but uh, what was that you just fired? Oh, oh uh, my blasters? Uh, it's part of my quirk, you might say. I can some ch bring out these blasters to, like, fire different elements. Ice, fire, wind... Electricity. There's other stuff we can do, but those are the main stuff I'm going to say for now. Like, oh, that's pretty cool. I just have uh, zero gravity. Oh, zero gravity. Kind of like out of space and whatnot. You know, I don't know if you believe me, but I'm like a spaceman myself. Umaraka <laughs> laughing at the joke. And I'm like, that's a pretty funny joke. 
Deku not really making it a joke, but just going with the flow of it, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, don't worry, you'll, you'll do great, I know it. She's saying thank you. Deku, like, well, I think the test is about to begin. Sets his blaster on fire, but melts the ice around Ida's feet. Ida's steaming mad now. You're like, ooh, that boy, yeah. Like, as soon as he does something else, I'm going to be on his at case about it. The gates open up. Deku puts on his t- helmet. Like, puts the helmet on and flies off with his boots. Everyone's like, hey, wh- why is he going? The gate just opened. He didn't say go. He does saying that mostly. Like, he should be disqualified for doing that. President Mike, well, what are you waiting for? There's no time in battle. Follow that kid's example. Go! And Deku is just blasting left and right. Blasting ice, fire, the works like that. Backing up some points pretty fast. People are seeing it like, whoa, wait, what is this quirk and such? And, uh, he's, I'm going to say, like, tying with Bakugo. Like, he's at 90 points. Or, well, actually, wait. Now I'm gonna say he's, like, second in the exam right now. He has 80 points. Deku's like, well, I think this should be enough for points-wise, so... Yeah. Just now sitting on the edge of a building, listening to music. So, so jamming out. Even dancing a little while, even destroying a couple more robots, too. Just for fun of it. People are like, is he seriously dancing while destroying robots? <laughs> like, what is up with this guy? So, he does, like, he's not even taking this seriously now. That's racking up a couple more points as well. Until the zero point comes, he heard, he's starting to hear some rumbling and screaming, like, what is it now? Looking up at zero point, like, oh. Oh, shit. Don't know if I should handle this or what. Could be fun. Oh. Until he heard a scream for help. He's like, oh, yep, nope, here we're time. <laughs> Putting on his helmet back on, flying towards the zero pointer. Putting the two blasters together, like, putting them on fire, man, like, saying, solar flare. Firing a massive shot of fire, melting, the, destroying the zero pointer at its core, and it's destroyed, falling backwards. Everyone is shocked by this. Deku's just flying in meta with the two blasters combined like that. He disassembled them. Puts them away, flies down to Maraca, and helping her up. Like, are you okay? Yeah, that was amazing. How did you... Oh, remember? The blasters. <laughs> so I can also put them together and make them a more powerful gun. Oh, that's pretty cool. Helps her up, brings her to Recovery Girl. Recovery Girl heals her up. And, uh, yeah. After that, they don't bother sending a letter to him. He just, he pretty much lives at UA anyway, so. Yeah, so, they said to him, like, so you got in. That's pretty much it. Like, Azara just says, like, wow, what? So, great motivational speech, Azara, like. You you could have done like spiced it up a bit, like tell me like my points wise and whatnot. Like, kid, you mean both no, I don't do that. So you got in, you get top marks. That's all you need to know. Fair enough. And he just works out. And just working on his ship a bit. He does fly it every now and again to outer space. Just to do some small jobs, too. For the scavengers, but nothing, like, extreme. Just somewhere around his area, I guess. 
as such. Uh, that's why I'm going to leave it off. If you guys want the rest of the equipment to be his quirk, like the boots and mask, you, I can do that. Or if you just don't want the blasters to be his quirk, then I'll change it up in the near future to make him just quirkless or whatever. Uh, but yeah, tell me who this sh should be. I'm actually now leaning towards more Umaraka x Deku for this. Or I could do Jira or Mina. Because, well, you know. Or do a, possibly a harem, actually, now I'm thinking about it. But yeah, so... Let me down in the comments. I'll tell you guys the other series once I get them... Like, when I feel like they're ready to be released, or whenever some other series gets over with. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.